It's pick, pick six, six time. time. Welcome, Welcome to the, the pick, pick six, six show. show. This is your host, Seth Perry. It's the pick, pick six, six rookie time. time. <laughs> Slow down. Use it, know it, become it. six today we're doing another topic for you six ways to stack your paper hence it paper U H. you know what i mean but no we definitely want to talk about ways to accumulate your money make the money work for you not you working for the money and um we're going to get into some some good things here before i start two things mama what's going on number two I know that some of you guys may remember the operation that we were doing, Operation Oprah. Okay, Operation Oprah was where you go to Oprah.com, let her know how you feel about SETI P. He lodged, that's what y'all say, not me. I'm, you know, I'm not hyped. But, you know, so she can, so me and her to talk about some things. Me and Oprah got some things to talk about. So, still continuing that, but also starting Operation Rihanna. Okay, so I watched the Rude Boy video, and it's come to my attention that. She needs to be my boost. All right, so basically, we're starting the promotion to holler at Rihanna. Rihanna, if you're watching, a brother has mad credentials. You know what I mean? Smart, got my own TV show, previous Caribbean experience. Talk to a brother. You know, All right? You Let me sit down real quick. Stop kicking hands with yourself. Hey, what you want, want, want. All that type of stuff. You know I mean? Now, we here again with my good brother, Fro Nominal. Give it up for me, y'all. Obviously, he didn't get the memo, don't rock the Argyle, but it's all good. You know? Great minds think alike. You tried to save yourself there. But um, can you give us a rip that we can get into, get our boogie on, you know? Let me see what I got. Go, okay. Man, stop. What do we say? Slow down. You know what I mean? 
You need to stop doing this. If you can't say it to me in real life, you need to know your role and shut your mouth. Great philosophy. Brother is fly, tell me straight up. Yes. If you think a brother's corny, tell me straight up, even yes. though it's not true. I'm not mad at you. But um so people who are gangsters on Facebook and Twitter, mm -hmm. you, you tripping. tripping. <laughs> Alright. Now the final you tripping here, people that wear club clothes to church. Come on now. For real now. You know that's not proper attire. Put, get you some shoes. You can go to the, you know, the Goodwill store. I'm not gonna be mad. Shining babies up real nice. Who knew? You know what I mean? I don't want to see you coming in with Joe Gucci and Louis and talk about Lord have mercy. It's not. It's, it's no correlation there. So club clothes in the church. You church. All right. All right. Clap it up, y'all. So we're going to quickly get into the show today, six ways to stack your paper. Number one, accumulate in the bank account. Okay? Now, some of you guys may not have a bank account. Some of you guys may have a bank account and are not using it. I'm not judging. But this is a quick way to start stacking your money up and you put it away to kind of grow your money for appropriate times. You know what I mean? When you may need something or emergency or rainy day sunny day, whatever. So, start to put your money away and make it a habit that you're not going to touch this money. You know what I mean? This is your separate money, you got your spending money, you got your bill money, and then you got your bank account money. Don't touch it. Get off me. You know what I mean? So, this is one of the things that you want to do in trying to accumulate your money. And this way, you're not necessarily dependent on the paycheck that you get. Because we all know how it is living the paycheck to paycheck hurts a brother, mm -hmm. all right? So if this is something that y'all think is cool, can I, can I get a you know clap or something, y'all? Y'all like a bank account, what is a bank account? Nah, but I mean, that's, that's one thing that you want to do. Now, number two, cheat on your budget. Y'all like, huh? That don't make any sense. Cheat on your budget. Now I'm gonna spin it so you can understand what I'm saying. Because you know, we, this is one thing you should cheat on. People cheat on their man, they, they cheat on their diets. Give them a 360. Cheat them on your budget. You know what I mean? So this is what you do. You set your budget. You know what I mean? I got my bills, $100. I got my, you know, my kids, $200. I got my man, $300. Because you know, they got a slurred on us. So, but then, somebody said, mm, that's messed up. But anyway, but you want to try to set this budget here and look to save a little money from it. So if you're setting up, you know, $100 for your food budget, try to, try to spend 80 You know what I mean? You done saved $20. You put that in your bank account, now you're rolling. You know what I mean? You, you go, you spend gas. You know what I mean? Try to find some cheap gas. So instead of putting out, you know, $50 for gas, you're putting out 40 You know what I mean? And you're saving nickels and dimes here and there, and they turning into dollars. And you know the dollars make the girls go holler. Okay. So you know you definitely gotta you definitely gotta do that. Okay? Now, number three on this list, read homecoming. Yes, self-promotion indeed. <laughs> Copy. But think about it. This is just a microcosm, smaller model, of some things that you can do. Get yourself a valuable, inexpensive way of fun. Movies, y'all know how the movies is right now. $35, $45, come on, man. You can't be spending that to be having fun. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Popcorn, 15 butter costs 5 You know what I mean? So it's like, you can't, you can't do that. So you definitely want to find, you know, cost-effective ways to spend your money. Why not read a book? Read a book. Read a good book. Homecoming, you know, I brother work hard. Okay? Now, we're going to take a quick break. Go to commercial, let the advertisers do their thing, and then we're going to be back with six ways to stack your paper. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm here with two of the contest winners for Pick 6 Season 1 autographed copy, and, autographed copy of Homecoming. So give a clap for my winners here, y'all. We're going to go ahead and Get back to the show. Y'all can take this. <laughs> hey, 
everybody wants to be a star. But um, we're going to sit down here and so just the ladies here continue on. Now we're going to kick it off with number four: make purchase goals. Okay, that sound that sound cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta set some things that you want to to you know buy and obtain, and you're gonna say, you know, what, I'm gonna save for this, and I'm gonna get this money. Not necessarily trying to borrow it from you know, you know, Nene and them. You're trying to get your own money, so definitely want you to. Is y'all alright? Yeah, we good. Okay, we good. Um, <laughs> make your purchase goals. Definitely said that. I want to get this camera. I want to get this, you know, uh, this house. For all the you know, because those are appropriate goals as well, and you start saving for them. You know what I mean? And it builds good habits. Okay, for the future. Number five, you want to know your credit. Okay. Yeah, five. Number five, you want to know your credit. Now, I was actually listening on the radio, and they were just approaching this theory about actually, you know, saving your own money as opposed to using credit which is something that we should also look into in investing as well instead of having to borrow from people. But still, credit is a very uh, common line you know, used, so we definitely want to try to know what our credit situation is and try to pay our bills on time so that it's not affecting our credit because you get start getting them low credit scores, you're not getting any money. You know what I mean? So you definitely want to take care of that business and know what your situation is and act accordingly. We're going to take a quick break. Go to a commercial that, you know, pay these bills, stack of paper, and we're going to go back to this pick six, the spade in the back pocket. Channel. Look out for some other things. We ain't doing big things here. 
I want to let you know I love you. This is Cedric Perry. We have pick six. We out.